Hello, Jonah from Teachable here, and today I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough on how you can get your community set up on Teachable. Setting up your community is easy and can be done in a few clicks. And whether you already have products on Teachable or you're just getting started, a community is an incredible way to foster a deeper connection with your students. Also, having all of your knowledge products on one platform is going to make it so much easier for you and your students to engage and for you to help them achieve the transformation you're promising them. When building your community, you can think of the process in three key steps. Creating your community, this is where you'll turn it on in the product and determine who has access to it, as well as creating categories and the structure of the community. Then once you've built this space, you now need to enable it so that your students actually have access to it. And then the last step is engaging your community, which is the process of making sure your students know where it is, how to access it, and what the expectations are. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it's done. The first step to creating your community is navigating to the Community tab under Products in the sidebar. Once you click this, you'll see the option to create your first community. It may take a few minutes for your community to be created, but you'll get an email once it's done. Once your community is created, you'll see a set of options in your school for controlling and enabling your community. An important thing to set up is who can access your community. You can do this for all your students or based on a specific course. Now that that's established, let's take a look at the different ways you can organize and control access to different parts of your community. Under the categories and sidebars where you can control the different spaces your students have to engage with your community. You can add new categories or edit the existing ones to change the name, who has access, and what the permissions are within those categories. Now let's go view your community. You can see where the categories have shown up and what your community will look like for a student. You have further controls on the top left here as an admin, and you can create a new post anytime with the new topic button. And once you're happy with the construction of your community, it's important to enable it. Your customers won't have access to your community without enabling it. So let's hit enable. And now your students will have access to your community. You can also see how it shows up within your courses. And here you'll see community is now embedded into the course for easy access for your students. Now that your community is enabled, the last step is engaging your community and making sure that your students know where and how to access it and what the expectations are. Now Teachable does some of this automatically as we highlighted your community will be visible in the associated courses, but it's important to take some extra steps to make sure it's easy for your students to find and engage with your community. Some great things to do would be email your students with a link to the community so they have that on hand. At the same time, you can reiterate to them that it'll show up as an option in the course and they can click on it and access it there. And generally, it's a good idea to provide incentive for your students to enter the community for the first time. So consider posting bonuses or videos and anything that would incentivize them not just to access the community, but to start engaging right away. And now your community is live and ready to go. And remember that community is not a passive product at first, so it may take a little time to truly foster the kind of engagement you're hoping hoping to get out of your students and your community. Our best tip is to be the community member that you want and they need. Over time, your members will follow suit and the community will grow itself. So now that you have what you need, click the link below in the description to learn more about community and start building yours on Teachable today.